Okay, good morning. Welcome to another one of our uh, boat videos. Uh, today we're looking at a fairly nice uh, one owner Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck. This boat's uh, 2005, and as you can see, the gel coat is in really nice shape. Like I said, one owner boat, and it's actually been stored inside high and dry all its life, so that kind of explains why it's not sun faded like most of these. So, there are some imperfections, as can be expected. There in the corner you can see, most likely from docking. We'll go around the boat. We do not have a trailer available for this boat. As you can see, the shop trailer we have the boat currently on, it's way oversized for this boat. So, Right now we don't have a trailer for it, and like I said, it was a marina stored high and dry, so the boat never really had a trailer. Here in the bow, there's a couple of scratches. The bottom looks nice and clean. Here's the other side. There's a few chips there. Looks like there's some water drain marks there. Nothing major. I'm guessing the marks on the bow are probably from uh, the anchor. And here's the same thing, clean bottom, obviously no bottom paint being dry stored. All sides look nice and clean, no major dings. There's a little chip right here. show you the canvas. It's actually in excellent condition. Probably has never really been used as the boat was inside all the time. And we do have all the pieces. Bow cover, cockpit cover, and the bimini top. Some scratches here, probably from docking and on the back corner like the other side. Well, it has an extended swim platform. We'll take the cover off and uh, take a close look inside and we're also gonna take the boat out and do a sea trial. Swim, <coughs> swim deck seems to be in nice condition. The boat has a Bravo 3 outdrive, also in really nice shape. We did notice that the uh, transom assembly has been replaced as it has a way newer serial number than uh, the original. It is kind of normal for boats this age that the ho transom housing needs to be replaced. And this one probably doesn't have too many hours. Steering is nice and tight, there's no play on it. Okay, this is the outside and let's take the covers off and see how it looks inside. Okay, this is the inside part of our uh, 240 Sun Deck. This is kind of the part where you see the edge more with the upholstery. The boat's been marina maintained so they tend to use fairly harsh chemicals to keep everything clean so over time it does affect the vinyl. Okay, let's go inside. Everything's fairly clean. You can see a couple of rips there. That usually comes from that pole when you lower the bimini top. The seats. Back seat's actually pretty decent. No major signs of use. There's another piece, most likely from the bimini top. 
There's the navigator seat. Well, it's actually nice and clean. I don't really see any rips anywhere. And here's the helm seat. Same thing, nice condition. And here's the dash. This truly proves that the boat's been stored inside because usually the gauges by this age they get all faded and these look pretty much like brand new. Okay, on the port side, there's a small head compartment with the porta potty. First water sink. A little window. Here we have the table. This is the factory cooler. Stereo, which actually works as well. And then you have a walkway to the bow area. Here you can see on the seat bottoms there's a little bit of dry cracking there. The other pieces, well, they actually look pretty decent. Same thing on this other side. There's a storage under the floor. Here we have a shower. There's an ice box, stainless steel cup holders. The forward that's an anchor locker. And there's also a swim ladder. Okay, walking back. Here, it's more storage. Here, we have the uh, 5 liter MPI, 260 horsepower. The boat has a little bit over 800 hours on it, so for the age, it's about average. It's actually less than 50 hours per year. Nice and clean. According to the uh, previous and the original owner, the uh, exhaust risers have been replaced a couple of years ago, so everything should be turnkey ready to go. And we'll see how the boat runs. Next we'll go to the ramp and put it in the water and uh, take it for a sea trial. Small wet bar, the sink. I'm back to the helm. Okay, let's head on to the ramp. Right, we're on sea trial with our 240 sun deck. We got 828 hours. It was just 827 and it flipped over to 828. So we're at the channel and let's see what it does. Put it up on cruising speed. Gets up. Easily. We got good oil pressure. One spool. Okay, give it wide open. Back at the boat here from our sea trial, and uh, it's time to flush the engine. Go ahead. Oh, 
Okay, and it's pumping. concluding the video of this boat so boat's ready to go as you can see everything works fine boat runs great we have the title in hand and uh, give us a call to come take a look all right thanks for watching